We're simply having a wonderful Vlogmas time. Simply having a wonderful Vlogmas time. The tree is up. The candle's on. This year's been rough. But this month is gonna be fun because we're simply having a wonderful Vlogmas time. Simply having a wonderful Vlogmas time. Hi y'all, it's Beth here and today is day number seven of Vlogmas, I think. And today I am doing a collective wax melt haul. Now keep in mind that I am pre-filming this in November, so I think I have like one more order from Super Tarts and one more order from Southbound that I'm waiting on, but I wanted to go ahead and film this because I'm ready to put this stuff away into my stash or either ready to start melting some of it. So I know a lot of people will do like individual wax hauls and that's cool, I do those too. Um, but I figure it would be super exciting to do a collective wax haul. So hopefully you guys like this format. I'm going to try to remember to put the timestamps in the description box, but hopefully you guys will stick around to watch the whole thing cause all these vendors are great. So just to give a rundown, I have some L3. I have, that was all the way back from the moving sale in October. I have some L3, some Walmart wax, some wax from Southbound Candle Co., some wax from Destination Wax, some wax from Rainbow Melts, and some wax from Super Tarts. Then I also have a candle warmer that I bought from the Hallmark store near me and a little like silicone disc thing because I really want to keep it like in good, nice condition. So. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. I'll talk about the warmer first and then I'll go into the wax. So in my bedroom, I really wanted to replace my wax melt warmer. Right now I have a Scentsy Element warmer in there that is in the shape of a whale. I bought it while I was in college and it's actually one of the ones that is like made for kids. Like it has the little protector lid on it and stuff. Um, but anyways... I bought it because I just like whales and I just thought it was so cute. So I bought it. Well, I kind of am ready for something a little bit more sophisticated than that. Um, I'm probably going to keep the whale warmer though because I might want to go back to using it. So I'm just going to like put it in my closet or whatever. But um, I'm sure that one day I'll want to pull it out and use it again. Or if I happen to be allowed to like melt wax in my classroom, then, you know, to have a whale warmer, that would be kind of cute, right? I think the kids would like that. I would like that because I'm a kid at heart, so I already liked it for the first place. I bought it for my own self, for my own room. But anyways, this is the warmer that I bought. It is a candle warmers company, I guess. Um... Candle warmers, etc. Two-in-one fragrance warmer. So it looks like this. It has like a little brown um, bottom and then a white, um, a white um, holder thing and or warmer dish, I guess. And the type of gray it is, it's like a light gray color. So I think that'll be really, really nice. And then also, I think it can. Um, melt jar candles up to 10 ounces so that would be perfect for my little one wick bath and body works candles as well to just be able to go ahead and warm them on this also which would be so nice and i can make them into wax tarts or i can either just warm them and enjoy them in my bedroom right so that's very nice so it's a two in one and i'm not sure how many watts it is but um that's okay it's a really nice I got it for $22, so before tax. And I'm really, really excited to start using it in my bedroom. I'm already gonna start using it tonight. And then all my warmers I have gotten super de duper, like, you know, dirty and messed up by just putting the wax like right into the dish. And I usually like hot dump it for my warmers downstairs 
because they are 25 watt warmers from Scentsy where you can remove the melting dish. But in my bedroom, the Element Warmer, you can't remove the melting dish. So I usually use cotton balls. But first off, cotton balls are super wasteful. Second off, um, like even when you use a cotton ball, some of the wax still stains your warmer. And so I wanted to try out one of these. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but here goes nothing. This is a flip dish is what it's called from Candle Warmers, etc. or whatever company. Um, and so it says use with wax melts, reusable, eliminate cleanup, fits multiple sizes. So I am super de duper excited to use this. Um, and yeah, we're just going to see how it does. This was $7, so kind of a little steep, but, um, I guess it'll save you money in the long run on cotton balls. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see how it works, but I'm super excited. And also I'm thinking that hopefully maybe with this warmer, some of the wax that doesn't work well in my Scentsy warmer, like it wasn't just a dream from Super Tarts, which I love. And like some of my Rainbow Melts wax that doesn't work well in an Element warmer, cause I think maybe the wattage is not high enough. I'm hoping that it will get a better performance with maybe this warmer. We'll give it a try. What's the harm? None. There is no harm. So, okay. Now into the wax. I'm going to start with L3 um, Waxy Wonders. So, um, this first one is Osseo or something like that. Anyways, it's from Harry Potter. It's one of the spells that I think will help you to move objects. And yeah, so this one is French Vanilla Lace. And I picked it up because every single year I want to do a Harry Potter theme melting basket. I just want to. I don't know. Yeah, this scent is really good. I heard about it for the first time, I think, on For the Love of Scents on her channel. And, yeah, I just was like, oh, I need to keep my eyes open for this and pick it up because it sounds like something I would like. So, it smells really, really good on cold, and I'm excited for that one. And also, I have a Bitty Betty Loaf in the scent, The Breakfast Club. And this one, the notes are orange juice, rice crispy treats, and pink frosted animal crackers. And y'all will have to forgive me. I already put my little date stickers on these because I did not want to get confused of when they all came in. So, yeah, this scent is interesting. Do I get the orange juice? No, I don't think I get the orange juice on cold. I just get like a bakery scent on cold. So we'll see how this one does. But this one is called The Breakfast Club. And if you have never watched that movie before, I highly recommend it. It is a fabulous film. Okay, from um, all the rest are the two pack of bunts because I like the Bitty Betty Loaves, I like the bunts, and I like the fluted tarts. Those are my favorite from L3. This one is Sunny and Cher, and the notes are orange juice cake, rainbow sherbet, and nectarine mint sorbet. Oh yeah. Oh, I think I'm gonna love this one. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I am gonna love this one. It smells so good on cold. Oh my goodness. You definitely get the nectarine, the mint. I don't know if you get like a sorbet or sherbet note. Maybe that will come out when warming. I don't know if you get a cake. Oh, I just know it smells so good. I don't know if you get orange juice. I think you do get a little bit of orange juice in this um, one. So, wow, that one is really good. Um, 
Okay, next up is Isle of Avalon. I bought this one as a bedroom scent. This one is Lunar Eclipse with a veil of vanilla sugar. And this one, let's see. Oh, this one is nice. This one is like, like clean. Like, I don't know if Lunar Eclipse is a clean scent or not. I don't know what the notes are to that. But I get, like, a cleaner scent with, like, that vanilla. And it smells really good on cold. Wow. I'm excited. I'm excited to melt this one. I love Avalon. Oh, it smells so good on cold. Okay, another bedroom one. This one is Gatekeeper, and the notes are adipose and pink sugar. And Jennifer's adipose is like a vanilla bakery. Um, I don't know if it's actually bakery. I know it's like all the vanilla goodness in that scent. Yeah, this one smells nice. Um, I like anything like pink sugar, peppermint, like anything with pink sugar, peppermint, those types of scents I like in the bathroom. Anything with lavender, obviously. Not in the bathroom, in the bedroom, I mean. Um, yeah, that scent is really good. Then I got this one because it's like a perfect summertime scent, which of course we're not in summer right now, but I don't mind holding on to my wax for a long time. So this is L3 Waxy Wonders. This one is L3 Waxy Wonders Pineapple Coconut Leaves. And this one smells really good. Oh my goodness, this one smells like, is it called Dole Company? Is it like the Dole Company pineapple juice? Yes, I think that's what it is. This smells like straight up pineapple juice. Um, the reason why ever I know about pineapple juice is because for my friend's bridal shower, I did like, I did a brunch and we had mimosas and I was like, maybe like orange juice and she was like maybe like pineapple juice so I was like pineapple juice so I got pineapple juice oh my goodness if y'all have never tried that try it and you'll thank me later okay but this smells like straight up pineapple juice wow I really like that um that's pineapple coconut leaves I already would recommend this one I haven't even melted it yet Okay, next up I have Wonka Vision, and the notes are strawberry bread and cherry chip cake. Y'all, I am just in a mood. I just have had a good day. I don't know. Wow, this scent is good. Sometimes, like, I think it's the scent Red Nose from L3, and that scent is like very medicinal cherry and I even like black cherry merlot like to me that is tolerable but red nose is like even more medicinal than that of a cherry scent and oh my goodness I was worried to get this one because of the cherry but this one is very good and then last but not least from L3 and then we'll move into Walmart um, so just a sneak peek of what's to come. This is L3 Waxy Wonders Dumbledore's, Ar Dumbledore's Army. Why can I not talk? It's Lemon Drops and Love Spells. And this scent is really good. It smells like a lemon head. To me, like a tart, sour lemon head. Mm, that is good. I'm gonna really enjoy that when I do my Harry Potter theme melting basket. I think I'm gonna do it in April, maybe. We shall see. <laughs> That's like my soonest month that I have available in the new year because I already have plans for all the other months. So, um, like January, February, March. So, <laughs> yeah, and then I have a free space for April. Then May is my birthday month, so that's gonna be my birthday. Um, and then 
June, I think I don't have anything. July, I have Christmas in July. August, I don't think I have anything. September, I don't think I have anything. October, I do. That's for Halloween. November is, I don't know yet. And December is Christmas. So, anyways, I will talk to you guys more about what is going to be different for next year with my melting baskets and stuff like that. In another video, I'm dedicating a whole Vlogmas day for that video. So, don't worry. I'm still going to be on YouTube. I just am going to have some changes on my channel. Okay, because I'm going to be super busy, um, like the most busy I've ever been in my whole life. So anyways, um, now we are on to Walmart wax. So this first one is for the winter time, the season we're in right now. This is in the scent Iridescent from Sensationals. The notes are Spearmint and Vanilla Woods. And this scent is really nice. I think I'm gonna enjoy it a lot. Um, when I first bought it, I think it was more minty. But I think as it's been sitting, the um, like tree scent has come out a little bit more. Let's see, let me. Yeah, I feel like the tree scent has come out a little bit more, that wood scent. Um, but this scent is really good on cold, so I wanted to pick it up. This is my first time having it, and I think the scenery is, like, so gorgeous and adorable and beautiful and stunning. Adorable wasn't the right word <laughs> that I was looking for. Then I got some that are, like, more summery, I guess. So this one is Cookies and Cream, which in the summer, would you not like to have a big scoop of Cookies and Cream ice cream? This is Life is Sweet, Enjoy a Treat. And this scent is really good. It's gotten a lot creamier as it has sat for sure since October when I bought it. This one has changed as it's been sitting actually. So I'm really excited for this one. I think it's gonna be great. Then everybody and their mom talks about the scent here on YouTube. This is Better Homes and Gardens Vanilla Cookie Crunch. Everyone says it's just a great blender, a good scent, a good vanilla scent. Um, I know Ashley Nicole has mentioned this one and like a bunch of other people. This one is Shortbread Cookie Buttercream and Vanilla Scent Notes. And Ashley Nicole is like the queen of vanilla. She loves vanilla scents so if she likes this one I know it is one that I want to try yeah this scent is good so I am super excited to melt this one vanilla cookie crunch then I have also one for the summertime this is coconut sands and the notes are a soothing, or I guess not the notes, but the description says a soothing escape. And this is a nice coconut. It's a bit like body care-esque, maybe like perfumish, or I don't even want to say like perfumey, but it's like body care-ish. But it's really good. It has like a body care cleaner type of note to it, but it also is definitely coconut. A soothing escape. So look at that. Sorry, y'all. My hand is shaking so much. Um, I drink coffee and I drink like coffee and tea and I have bad anxiety. And so people tell me all the time like, try to cut back on your caffeine. You shouldn't be having any caffeine. It will make it so much worse. But y'all, I cannot get through the day without caffeine. I am like addicted to caffeine. Okay, which caffeine is a legal drug. So it is addictive, just so you know, I'm not crazy. Um, it is true that caffeine is addictive. I did a whole project on it. So when I was in college for a substance use class, anyways, pretty much Caffeine has half life, so like for every like for every amount of time, like every hour, say for example, like the amount of caffeine in your body from whatever you drank or ate, it cuts in half. So for that project, I actually had a list of all the caffeine 
that's like in different drinks like a Mountain Dew has like the highest caffeine you can have. Um, how much a cup of coffee has, how much like a chocolate bar has because chocolate has caffeine in it. And um, yeah, pretty much like my class calculated how much caffeine they actually go to bed with still in their system um, from like the day that they had in a typical day. And a bunch of us <laughs> went to sleep with caffeine still in our system, okay? So anyways, I'm sorry for that tangent, but this is my last Walmart wax, and then we're going to move on to Southbound Candle Co. So this is in Better Homes and Gardens Fall Festival, and this is a repurchase for me. I was originally gifted one of these in a random act of kindness from Angie. Her channel here on YouTube is Kentucky Waxy Girl, and I fell in love with this scent. So when I saw it was available again, I picked one up to hold on to for next year. The notes on this are juniper, spruce, apple, lemon, black currant, and leaves scent notes. And this scent just smells so, so good. I love it. I will pick one of these up every single year if it is available. It just is so good. I don't know how to explain. It's just so good. Please try it. Um, okay, so now let me move some stuff around and then I will be back to show you guys the southbound wax. Okay, so that was like no time at all for y'all, right? So anyways, this is for my southbound wax. And first off, oh, first off, let me rewind. In my L3 um, order, I did get a sticker that I already used. I also got um, a pack of three samples from Jennifer. She is so good about sending samples, about sending a sticker, and she also sends a candy too with your order. So um, I'm so sorry I didn't have that to show you guys. I already, you know, used them back in October when I got my order. Anyways, from Southbound, I got a business card from Rachel. She is the owner of Southbound Candle Co. And it also has her Instagram, her Facebook, and her website on it. I actually have been keeping these because my one friend that I'm trying to get into wax, like more and more and more, her name is Ashley. She lives near me. We've been friends since kindergarten. Anyways, pretty much like I am saving these little cards and whenever if I give her a sample from a vendor I'm actually giving her one of their cards too. Um, so first off I have a sample that I got from Rachel. This is in the scent Main Street Bakery and the notes are blueberry cobbler, sugary vanilla cake bites, and caramelized sugar. This scent is really good, um, and this is a really generous size sample. Um, like, look at that. It is a pretty big shape, and so I'm really excited to get to use that. And then a few of these are new to me since a few of them are repurchases. So I'm going to talk about the repurchases first. These are my favorite, favorite scents from Southbound Candle Co. that I've ever had before. So my first experience actually with Vendor Wax and my first experience with Southbound Candle Co. was a sampler, a Christmas sampler of scent shot cups and actually like I drew one out of like I put it in a bucket or whatever when I lived at my apartment so that was for vlogmas of 2019 if you go back to vlogmas 2019 um you can see I drew out of like a box or a bucket or a container or whatever I or a bag I think it was a Bath and Body Works bag maybe I put all the scent shots in that bag and I drew one like every single night or whatever and that was the scent that I melted in my bedroom of my apartment. So that is my first experience with Southbound Candle Co. Wax and with a vendor wax in general. So yeah, I am a big fan of Southbound Candle Co. because it was my first vendor so I do have a special place in my heart. But I have found that Rachel's Wax does better for me if it sits for a little bit. So, yeah. Okay, this first scent is in Mistletoe Cocoa. I already have one of these from last year to use this year. And I'm going to tuck this one away for next year. So, 
This one is sweet ripe, sweet ripe berries, white chocolate cocoa, and a tiny hint of coconut. This scent, these always get glitter all over my face, by the way. So don't judge me if I have like sparkles all over um, by the end of this video. So anyways, this scent is really good. I get like a chocolate cherry scent from this. And yeah, it is just a spectacular scent. I really love it. I highly recommend it. It has a good performance. Then I have the scent O oh, Christmas Tree. And the notes are pine, fresh lime, cardamom, and pepper with notes of scotch pine. And the ones that she has cute little shapes, I definitely will show you. So look at that. It is so stunning. Like a piece of artwork. Um, anyways, this scent is so 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 good i absolutely love it um i highly would recommend it it is one of my favorites it is a good performer the last time i used this one it did sit for a year so i think that's what i'm gonna do again i'm just gonna save this one till next year or until christmas in july i don't know which one yet um this one i cannot wait on i will be melting it right away <laughs> Um, and I have it also coming to me in a bakery bag from her most recent pre-order or at the time of filming this, it's the most recent one. I think by the time this is posted, another one will have passed, but the last pre-order I had ordered it in a bakery bag because it was available and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get it. And I also got Cafe Cream Puffs because Canada Kim talks about Cafe Cream Puffs like every day so I had to get that one to try because I just had to it was being offered so I had to get it anyways this is Southbound Candle Co Elf Treats and the notes are candy candy canes candy corn and syrup with effervescent spicy soda bubble pop bubbles I knew I was gonna mess that up <laughs> um this scent is so good Okay, so this I think is after the movie Elf and in it she has just a little like red, um, I guess it's supposed to be like a peppermint or something shape and it just smells so good. I love it with a capitalized love, like all the letters, L-O-V-E, all in caps. It's so good. Um, yeah, I will repurchase this every year. It is amazing. Um, okay, next up, this is one I'm definitely going to hold off until next year to melt because I have it in a whole loaf for this year. So, yeah, I don't need to melt it in the clamshell right now. This is in the scent Grinch Cake, which is so good. The notes are gingerbread cake pops and frosted sugar cookies. Yes, yes, yes. It smells so good and it has a cute little Santa hat and all that glitter. So I'm so excited about that one. And then I actually bought two of these. Um, this is in the scent White Christmas. Um, and I bought one to use this year, one to hold on to for next year because I just know that I want to use it this year. But I also know that it's good to, you know, let it cure for a year for me. That's just when I get the best performance. So I'm going to melt one now have one to melt for later so also I forgot to remove the little um thing on here do any of you guys like do you like to remove your little tab things right there or do you like to keep them I like to remove them but maybe nobody else cares about it I don't know but I care about it so those are all did I even read the notes on this no, this is peppermint, spearmint, cotton candy, and vanilla cream. Y'all, it's been a long day. My mind is like all over the place. Um, okay, it's been a good day, but a long day. I think I didn't smell it either. Yes, this is just like clear peppermint, but it's like not super astringent peppermint, like not a super sharp peppermint because it has cotton candy and it has vanilla cream mellowing it out. It just smells like a peppermint candy. It 
just smells so good. That's the only way I know how to describe it. So actually my story that I have about this scent, okay, I promise this is gonna be my last story because I don't have all day. Okay, I melted this in my apartment and I worked like, when I worked at, when I lived at my apartment, I worked at a place that is just two lights away from my work. Like, I just go to a light, turn left, go past the light, then at the next light, I take a right, and then ta-da, there I am, right? So, I didn't have to leave to go to work until like 7.45, 7.30, 7.45, and so my roommates, they both left like way before me, and so whenever I was in the apartment, I would like have a candle going in the morning, I would have my wax melter going in the morning, whatever. So. I go to work, everything's hunky-dory, and then I come home and I open the front door of the apartment and my room is literally all the way at the end, like the only thing farther than my bedroom is the bathroom, all the way at the end and you take a right. I walk in through the front door, I'm like, it smells like straight up goodness in here. It smells like peppermint, it smells so good. And I was like, that is so weird because none of my other roommates are like, here are they so I literally called my roommates I was like Perky Rebecca anyways my roommate Rebecca answered me and she was like hey and I was like hey do you have a scent on and she was like no I don't she said it smells really good in here so I didn't even turn a scent on because she had a wax melter in her room too but she was not like she is not like into it the way that we are into it right but anyways she does have a warmer in her room, but she didn't have it on. And so I was like, oh my goodness, I think I left my warmer on all day. Y'all, this is when I did not use to leave my warmer on all day, okay? So, like, ever. So I literally was freaking out. I was like, I cannot believe I forgot it. I, like, went and turned it off. I was like, I'm so sorry. I probably could have burned our whole apartment down. And I was so upset. And she was like, well, that's okay. It smelled really good. And she was like, and nothing happened. Just, like, be more careful about it next time. So I was like, oh, my goodness. Thank goodness she's not mad at me. But anyways, this scent is very strong. It smells very good. It's very pepperminty. And yeah, always when I melt this scent, I always will have a memory of that. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you. Okay, now I have all new to me scents from Southbound because, you know, I would like to try new winter scents from her since I'm probably going to order from her every single Christmas. Um, this scent is in Holiday Cookies and the notes are fresh from the oven sugar cookies with a slight hint of buttermint and sweet vanilla. These clams are very loud when you open and close them, so I'm so sorry. This is very good. It smells like a peppermint sugar cookie. Mmm, that is good. A slight hint of buttermint and sweet vanilla. You can definitely smell the buttermint on cold. Then I have Christmas Cheer, and this one is Balsam, Fur Needles, Eucalyptus, and Sparkling Champagne. Hmm, I don't know how I feel about this one. I am gonna have to wait and melt this one. Um, that's Christmas Cheer. It smells good, but I don't know how I feel about the eucalyptus in it. I'm kind of like, um, what is it called? Like hesitant about eucalyptus scents, but I really wanted to give this one a try because I thought blended with all these things like the champagne, the balsam, the fur needles, maybe it would like make it less eucalyptus-y, but um, if that even makes any sense. But yeah, I'm probably not gonna melt this one till July. Just give it some time to sit and cure, but then I will know for next Christmas, do I want to repurchase it again or not? So that is going to be helpful. Okay, this one is um, the scent Tinsel, and the notes are pomegranate, strawberries, raspberries, and a hint of fresh peppermint leaves and vanilla. And this one smells really good on cold. Yeah, definitely on the bottom you get more of that berries. Um, I'm not sure if I get peppermint. 
I don't think I get peppermint yet. Maybe that one needs some more time. But this one has cute pink and purple sparkles in it, um, which is very nice. And then I like how the eye is a heart. So that's cute. This one even might be good for February for Valentine's Day. It just all depends, y'all. Um, this one I got also. This is in the scent Peppermint Mocha. The notes are light milk, fresh mint leaves, peppermint, sweetened coffee, hot cocoa, and vanilla cream. This one has my favorite kind of sparkles. Oh my gosh, this one smells so good. It smells like hot chocolate. Like peppermint hot chocolate or like a peppermint mocha that you get from Starbucks. Um, it's literally called peppermint mocha. That's what it's supposed to smell like. But look at these little, um, you know, sparkles. They're like red sparkles and then white sparkles. So that is really, really nice in the scent peppermint mocha. Definitely going to let that one sit also. This next one is in the scent Winterberry Noel. And the notes for this are cool peppermint, sweet, delicious berries, and vanilla bean Noel. You gotta love Vanilla Bean Noel. That is like a classic. Yeah, this scent is nice. This scent is actually kind of unique to me. I've not smelled anything like this before. I really like this, Winterberry Noel. So I'm excited to give that one a try. And then this is my last southbound one, and then we will head over to Destination Wax. So that will be our next one. This is Southbound Candle Co. Winter Wonderland, and the notes are black currants, raspberries, and juicy apples with creamy vanilla musk. Mmm. I don't know how I feel about this one either. I think there are two that I don't know how I feel about it. Yeah, this one, I'll just have to melt it and see. This is Winter Wonderland. So I definitely get the berries and the musk. I don't know about currants. What do currants smell like? Hmm, I don't know. Anyways, that is Winter Wonderland. So let me get cleaned up real fast, then we'll talk about Destination Wax. Okay, so I'm back. Also, if you guys have stuck around this long, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. So first off, I have some samples, and they always get sent in this cute little brown bag with a handwritten note, which not every single vendor does a handwritten note. That is highly appreciated. I really enjoy and treasure that they take the time to do that and especially this month they are going through some personal stuff um the month that these were sent out and they still just took the time to do personal notes took the time to package it really fast and ship it really fast and just they put so much love and care into it and it just shines through and you can totally see it so i really love destination wax okay thank you beth enjoy rebecca and um, it's owned by Rebecca and Jim Harris are the two owners. Um, so let me show you guys my samples first. And their samples are always adorable. So this one is in the scent Jungle. And the notes are Fresh and Earthy, Cypress, Cedar, Vetiver, and Ylang-Ylang, inspired by Lush Jungle, which I'm not familiar with Lush scents, but... We'll see. I can't tell you if it's like the same or not. Oh, this one is not a scent for me. Um, this is like a earthy, like very heavy tree note scent. But anyways, I just want to show you guys how cute their samples are. And yeah, I mean, just literally... It just is so cute and it's a great size and it just you know it does such a great job like you know it's a good size it's a good chunk of wax to put in your warmers and it performs um 
Okay, I have Cranberry Pumpkin, which I think I have this scent, maybe, possibly. This one is Baked Cranberries and Pumpkin, Sweet, Rich, and Lightly Tart, inspired by the Bath & Body Works candle. This one smells really good. Do I have Cranberry Pumpkin? I think I do. So, probably what I'll do with this one, what I like to do when that happens, is I will melt, like, this sample in my bedroom while I have the actual like breakaway bar that I have in the downstairs that just is always so nice to have the same scent throughout your whole house and yeah so that is what I do and the sample will still go to great use um and that's also just an idea for you guys if you get a sample and it's one that you already have that is a great way to still get to use it okay I need to stop talking so much because this video is almost 45 minutes long now and I still have two more vendors to show you. Okay, so this is Destination Wax Coffee Espresso Macchiato and which I want to try all the coffee scents. Um, I'm actually like working my way through the alphabet. So this one is Rich Espresso Sweetened with a Dash of Steamed Milk. I don't know why I just said that like that. Okay, this one smells so good, and literally look at how gorgeous this is. Okay, um, I need to put it back in there because my hands are like melting the wax. Um, okay, so those are my samples. I'm very grateful for those, and they also use tissue paper, so I always love that because I can reuse it. Okay, so we'll start with the new to me scents, and then we can talk about my three favorites that I repurchased. So this first one is in the scent Candy Cane Frost and she has a description. She has the pour date so it's very nice. It says sweet creamy vanilla mint candies and yes it smells so good. So minty. I'm so excited. It smells like a candy cane and this one is poured on September 20th so it's already good to melt. Um, next up, I have the scent Candy Cane Extra. This will be going in my On Christmas We Wear Pink Melting Basket. This one is Fresh Peppermint and Spearmint, Sweet Strawberries, and Vanilla Extra Minty. And this one I always will remember because, oh, that is interesting. Does this have menthol in it, did it say? No, no menthol in it. It just says extra minty, so it is definitely extra minty. It smells kind of like scents that have menthol in it, like a note of menthol. Anyways, um, when I posted my wish list, like my to get list from the restock, um, this scent was on it, obviously. And Rebecca actually took the time to comment and she was like, oh, I'm pouring more candy cane extra today. So that was actually very nice. This is from September 17th. So this one is good to know also. So nice. Um, you know, it's just nice that they are interactive in the group. And now every time that I melt candy cane extra this season, I will remember like, oh, Rebecca poured that on the same day I said I was going to get that. How nice of a memory to know that. Okay, so anyways, this one I got, it's not in my alphabet. I'm doing A through C right now, but this one was recommended to me. And um, in the comments of my post, someone said, if you like coffee, try this scent because you will not regret it. So I literally was like, okay, I'm going to cross out one that I was going to get from the A through C category and instead get this one. So this is in the scent Moon Spice Cookie and the notes are sugar cookies, coffee, and Celtic Moon Spice. I do not regret getting this one at all. This one smells so good on cold. I am so excited to get to melting it. It was poured on October 14th, so yes, I am so excited. Um, okay, and then the last new to me scent, this is in the scent Beautiful Day. Hold on, y'all, I got a notification that I gotta make go away because otherwise it'll distract me. This is in the scent Beautiful Day. It says fruity flower blend of 
app of apples, melon, pear, water lily, kyclamen, and blonde wood, similar to Bath and Body Works. I don't know what that word is pronounced like. If you guys can help a girl out, that would be great. Yeah, this is good. It definitely reminds me of the Bath and Body Works kind. This is definitely like a more springtimey scent, but it's really, really good. Um, so, okay, now on to my favorites, and I actually got doubles in my favorites. So first off, we have Bear Claws. I bought two of them. The scent is so, so, so good. Um, if you want like a nice, warm and cozy bakery scent, the notes are cinnamon pastry filled with dates, raisins, and nuts. And this scent is so good. And I love that this one was poured in July because I literally can melt it right away. Oh, it's so good. Oh my goodness. I love it. That's Bear Claws. I highly recommend. Next up, I have Bonsai. I got two of them. The notes for this one are strong, fresh, green, soapy scent. Great for freshening up a bathroom. I love using the scent in the bathroom. I have just raved about it left and right. It is so good. And then, this is the last one from Destination Wax. After this, I'm actually gonna take a break to go downstairs for a little bit, but no time will elapse for you guys at all, and I will be right back to show you Rainbow Melts, which is the final vendor, and then we can call it quits for today's vlog, this video. Will I ever do this again? I don't know, because this is a long time to be talking. Okay, my throat is super dry. <laughs> um, okay, this is Destination Wax Lavender Mint. I love this one for the bedroom. The notes on this one are invigorating herbal mint with a splash of lavender, contains essential oils. So this one was also poured in July, so that's perfect. Oh, this is different. Wow, this one probably has sat for longer than the one that I had last time. It probably cured for longer. Because I don't know if it's possible, but this is like even more minty than before. Which it was very minty before. So, wow, I'm surprised. But I love this scent. I will always repurchase. And my plan going forward is like to repurchase one every month for to use for the next month. So that would literally put me going through 12 of these in a year, but I don't care. It's so good. I love it with all my heart. Okay, I'm gonna go for a bit. I'll be back and then we'll talk about Rainbow Melts. All right, y'all, so I'm back. I went and had some water, ate some dinner, did some dishes, taught my brother how to find peer-reviewed articles and how APA formatting works when you have to cite sources and stuff like that. So now, finally, I'm done with my sisterly jobs and, you know, all that. So I can finish up with this collective wax haul, finally. So um, I still have rainbow melts and super tarts to show you guys. So I'm going to do rainbow melts first because that's what I said I was going to do. So I did get a business card from rainbow melts. The owner is named Crystal and it just tells you to please allow two weeks for cure time. Happy melting. It has her website, her email, her Facebook, her Instagram, and her name is Crystal. Obviously, I already told you that. Um, so I actually did get a sample from her and it came in this super adorable candy corn package, um, which is super cute and it had a sticker on it which said thank you for supporting my small business and it's like this really pretty iridescent sticker. So I really really love that. It's so nice of her to add this like extra touch because you don't have to like include your sample in a super cute bag and with a super nice sticker and you don't even have to include a sample at all. So that was really, really generous and thoughtful of her. Again, something that is always much appreciated from vendors. And I think she also um, wrote a note on my thing 
yes this will not show you my address I think so she wrote Beth thanks so much with a smiley face so that is always appreciated too because some people do not like write a personalized message or anything like that so that is very nice she also which this is the first time that I've ever had her do this my only other purchase from her before though was a mystery bag so maybe she doesn't do it for the mystery bags but in this order she actually included a lollipop which is very nice this is a caramel apple pop um so i'm gonna give this to one of my brothers they like love stuff like this so anyways um so the sample that i got is actually a very generous size sample this is in the scent crackling cookies and the notes are crackling birch and sugar cookie royale and this is in like a scary guy head or whatever um it looks like this it's like a little scary spooky guy from halloween time and this scent is honestly not my favorite um it's not really my preferences of with the crackling birch part of it but I am still going to at least give it a try um anyways this wax melt size is like enough to split in half and put half in one warmer half in another with crystals wax you don't need a lot to get a good throw at all like it does phenomenal um so I'm grateful and thankful for that sample then I have a few that are like Halloween themed that I'm probably going to hold on to until Halloween. This first one is in the scent Casper. The notes are vanilla bean, marshmallow, vanilla ice cream, and spearmint. This scent is really good. It's like a, smells maybe like vanilla bean ice cream or like mint ice cream. It smells really good and yeah I think I'm gonna enjoy that oh maybe I should show you guys what it looks like it looks like this so that will get you a good amount of melting in that shape like at least for maybe two different occasions of melting um, in my downstairs open concept so that's Casper then I have the scent Yummy, and the notes on this one are Creamy Zucchini, Sweet Sugar Cookies, and Frosted Birthday Cake. So this one I'll probably hold on to until May. Throughout this video, I'm kind of thinking out loud about melting baskets, so I'm so sorry about that. Oh my goodness, this one smells so good. And look at this cute little owl. It's pink on the top and like an iridescent orange color on the bottom. I hope that's coming out okay on camera. This one smells really good and I am excited to melt it for the first time and see what I think. Um, again, that is in the scent Yummy. Okay, from like for fall time, so I will hold on to this one until next fall. This is the scent Feeling Fall and the notes are Cranberry Woods and Leaves Type. This is in two of those little scary guys that I showed you the sample is in. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, this one is really good. I'm so sorry if you guys can hear that. My brother is playing his game up here and people talk on it and it's like super loud. So I'm so sorry, but this one is those little scary guys. Anyways, I'm excited to melt this one. But I'm going to hold on to it until next fall. This one is Rainbow Melt Cider Lane Frosted Animal Crackers. And the notes for this one are Gooey Caramel Apple Cider and Frosted Animal Crackers. Gooey Caramel Apple Cider and Frosted Animal Crackers. Oh, okay. This one is interesting. It's not like that super sweet like that it turns your stomach amount of sweetness of caramel it's just like it smells like a caramel apple or something kind of like a caramel apple scent 
in my opinion on cold snip that is cider lane frosted animal cookies okay and then i have duncan pumpkin which this scent is pumpkin cider donuts pumpkin caramel latte and whipped cream Crystal's coffee is whatever got me wanting to try rainbow melts. Everyone talks so highly of her coffee scents and I just like wanted to try them so badly. So that is why ever I started purchasing um, wax from rainbow melts. Like that is what got me initially interested. And then even her scents that are not coffee, they just smell so good. They throw so well in my home that I was like, oh, I think I'm going to go head over heels for rainbow melts. So yeah, this scent is really good. I'm going to try to hold on to it till fall, but I'm not making any promises because I love me a good coffee scent. And this is a cute pumpkin. I'm not going to take it back out, but there you can see. And again, that's the scent Duncan Pumpkin. And I also have Sweet Amish Bread and Pumpkin and Starbucks Coffee. This is also in one of those little pumpkin shapes. So that's exciting. Yeah, this one is definitely more heavy on the bakery than the coffee. The other one was more heavy on the coffee than the bakery. So that's exciting to have like, you know, a little difference. And this one, I mean, I guess I can just hold on to it till fall since it has that pumpkin in it. But I'm not going to be too upset if I use it earlier either. So it'll be fine. Um, okay, Rainbow Melt strawberry, strawberry Pound Cake and Pumpkin Pecan Waffles in another little owl so I'm not going to take this one out again oh wow I like this one yeah I like this one on cold I don't think I can wait to melt this one I'm already going to melt it this winter I think so at least for the first time I'm going to melt it this winter that smells really good on cold I think it's my favorite <laughs> so far from this order. Um, this one is the scent Twisted Tree. The notes are Twisted Peppermint and Christmas Tree. And it's in this beautiful snowflake. Oh wow, this one smells really good. Mm. And look at this snowflake. It has a bunch of white glitter on it so pretty it makes it look like it's actually like dusted with snow like green from a tree oh green from a tree and then dusted in snow i almost lost that one so that is twisted tree i'm excited to melt this one i'm already going to get to melt it you know since it's the winter time um, and then this is my last one from Rainbow Melts and then we'll move on to Super Tarts. That is the last one and I didn't get a lot from Super Tarts. Only four clams. Three of them are in the same scent so it's going to be super fast. Um, Rainbow Melts. This is in the scent Red Nose and the notes are Tart Cranberry and Glowing Ginger Ale. And let's see how this one is. It's that same snowflake but just in red instead of green. Hmm. This one, I do not like on cold, actually. I don't know what it is. It just has a weird hint of something. Like, that makes it kind of smell like a cardboard box. Or something like that at the end. There's like a little hint of something at the end that makes it smell like it's like a packaging warehouse or like something like that. I don't know. Ugh, I don't know how to describe what I'm smelling actually. I think that's the only way I know how to put it into words. But this one is interesting. I'm still going to give it a chance melting it. But if it doesn't work out, then at least I know for next time. 
So you never know because things always change when you warm them. Things change sometimes. So maybe it'll end up being my favorite. You never know. Um, but as of right now, it is not one of my faves. Okay. Let me clean this up and then we'll talk about super tarts. Okay y'all, so last but not least, we finally made it to the last vendor of this collective haul. Will I ever do one of these again? I don't know. It has been really a lot. Okay, so this is from super tarts. Let me start out by showing you guys the sample that I got. This is a sample in the scent sweater weather and it smells just like your typical average sweater weather scent very good um hopefully it's going to perform well for me super tarts is kind of a hit or a miss in my house and so then let's talk about what did i get i have literally two scents to show you so this is from the like earth and fresh pre-order or something like that this one is a new to me scent that I bought like specifically for Christmas time. So this is the scent Prancer, which is one of the reindeer. I almost said one of the unicorns, but there are no unicorns at Christmas time. Okay, Beth, only reindeer. Um, okay, this is Prancer. The notes are mistletoe, red berries, pomegranate, and peppermint. So let's give this a sniff. This is my first time sniffing this. Okay, this is not bad. Yeah, it kind of smells like one of those, um, like holly berry trees, you know, because it has berries. Wow, why can I not get it out? There we go. Yeah, this is good. Okay, I like this. I hope it's going to perform for me. Um, again, this is the scent. Prancer from Super Tarts, one of the reindeer. Um, and then I got three clamshells in the same scent. Now I know probably some of you are like, why did you not get a band bag? But for me, I cannot figure out the right proportion of like the actual band bag pieces to put in my wax melter. I don't know why it's so hard for me. And then also, I just like storing the clamshells better. I like having the smaller quantity and then I can have like, you know, I can just empty stuff up and move on to the next thing. Like having a band bag to me is very overwhelming. So I got three clamshells in the same scent. This is in the scent Robin, which is so, so good. Okay, I have three of them here. Let's see if I can hold them for you guys to see. Yes, I can. Look at that. Oh, there we go. Robin. So this one, which has green wax, which how cool is that? Anyways, the notes on this are fresh cut grass and strawberry. And let's see, let me just sniff it. I already know what it smells like. It smells so good. Um, Yes. Oh my goodness. Just picture. Okay. I'm going to leave guys off on a high note. Okay. Just picture. You just made it through this long winter that we have ahead of us, right? And it's the first day of spring and the birds are chirping and the grass is growing. The flowers are starting to like get buds on them. And you just put this scent in your warmer and it smells like you just mowed the lawn and like you are in a strawberry garden. That is just what it smells like. It just smells so good. It just smells like the perfect spring. Like if I could give this another name, it would be like the best spring day ever. The best first day of spring ever that you've ever had in your life. It's so good. Okay, if you got nothing else from this video, get Robin. Um, it's so good. And also, you know, all the ones from Destination Wax that I talked about that I love. I highly recommend those ones. The ones from Southbound that I talked about that I love. I recommend those ones, you know, that are repurchases for me. Oh my goodness. I just am so excited for all of this wax. So, you guys, 
if you are still watching this, thank you so much. You are the real MVP. You are a trooper. And I am going to give you a special thank you comment. If you comment on this video and tell me your favorite Christmas wax or candle that you ever have tried. Because if you answer that question, I will know that you watched all the way to the very last second of this video. Okay? Happy Vlogmas. Merry Christmas. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow. And as always, make sure you stay positive till then. Bye.